The Saab JAS-39 Gripen is rapidly emerging as a formidable contender in modern military aviation. For years, the F-16 Fighting Falcon dominated the skies, favored by numerous air forces worldwide. But as countries like Thailand begin to transition from the American-made F-16 to the Swedish-designed Gripen, the balance is shifting. Known for its cutting-edge technology, cost-effectiveness, and multi-role capabilities, the Gripen is quickly being recognized as a next-generation fighter jet capable of meeting the demands of 21st century warfare. The Royal Thai Air Force recently chose the Gripen EF to replace its aging fleet of F-16s. After a rigorous 10-month evaluation, this decision signals a significant departure from the F-16's long-held dominance. So, why did Thailand and other countries around the world opt for the Gripen? And what makes this jet a top contender for countries seeking advanced, affordable air power? In this video, we'll dive into the key features of the Saab JAS-39 Gripen explore its growing appeal, and discuss why it's fast becoming the fighter jet of choice for nations looking to upgrade their air forces. For decades, the F-16 Fighting Falcon was the go-to fighter jet for many militaries, including those in Southeast Asia. Known for its reliability, versatility, and advanced capabilities, it was often considered a dream aircraft for air forces across the globe. The F-16 served as the backbone of many countries' defense strategies, including Thailand's. However, as warfare evolves and technology advances, the limitations of the F-16 are becoming more apparent. The Royal Thai Air Force currently operates around 50 F-16AB models. While still capable, these aircraft are now considered outdated, especially when compared to newer, fourth-generation and beyond fighter jets like the JAS-39 Gripen. Thailand's recent decision to upgrade its fleet highlights the growing need for aircraft that can meet modern combat requirements. Other countries are taking similar steps. The Netherlands, for example, is retiring its fleet of 42 F-16s in September 2024 after 45 years of service. These jets were vital to NATO operations and national air defense, but with their retirement, the Netherlands is turning to the next generation F-35 Lightning II. While the Gripen, may not rival the capabilities of U.S. fighters like the F-22 or F-35, this trend underscores the urgent need for countries to modernize their air forces, and that's where the Gripen comes in. The JAS-39 Gripen EF is designed to be highly versatile, capable of fulfilling multiple roles in a single mission. Whether it's air-to-air -air combat, ground strikes, or reconnaissance, the Gripen can adapt to a wide range of operational demands. This flexibility is key in modern warfare, where missions can shift rapidly and aircraft need to be prepared for anything. In terms of performance, the Gripen is equipped with a General Electric F414 engine, enabling it to reach speeds of Mach 2 approximately 2,400 kilometers per hour. Its combat range of 1,500 kilometers makes it ideal for long-distance missions, and its ability to carry various advanced weapons, from air-to-air -air missiles to precision-guided bombs, ensures it's ready for any situation. Another critical advantage is its STOVL and supercruise capabilities. These features are typically found in more advanced fifth-generation fighters, allowing the Gripen to take off from shorter runways and maintain supersonic speeds without afterburners. In comparison, even the latest versions of the F-16 lack these capabilities, 
further cementing the Gripen's edge. The JAS 39 Gripen offers a blend of advanced technology, affordability, and operational versatility, making it an appealing choice for countries like Thailand. The Gripen EF models in particular are almost entirely new designs compared to their predecessors. They come equipped with cutting-edge systems and capabilities that not only match but, in many areas, surpass those of the F-16. One of the most significant advantages of the Gripen is its radar and sensor systems. The latest Gripen models use an ESA radar, which is more efficient and precise compared to the F-16A's older ANAPG-66 radar. The ESA radar allows the Gripen to detect and track multiple targets at long distances, giving it a clear edge in complex combat environments. In comparison, the F-16's mechanical radar is slower and less capable, making it harder to engage modern threats effectively. Despite the F-16A's aging technology, efforts have been made to modernize the platform. The most notable upgrades can be seen in the F-16C and F-16 Block 7072 models. These versions have been outfitted with an ESA radar, specifically the APG-83 ESA, developed by Northrop Grumman. This radar brings the F-16 closer to fifth-generation radar systems, improving situational awareness, target acquisition, and all-weather performance. However, even with these updates, the F-16 still falls short of the Gripen in several areas. While the Block 7072 F-16s offer impressive improvements, they don't feature the STOVL, or Super Cruise capabilities that give the Gripen its operational flexibility. This makes the Gripen a more attractive option for air forces that need advanced features without the high costs associated with stealth jets like the F-35. Thailand's move to purchase the JAS-39EF Gripen isn't an isolated case. Countries like Brazil and South Africa have also selected the Gripen for their air forces, recognizing the value it brings in terms of both performance and cost effectiveness. The Gripen's ability to operate from shorter, improvised runways, combined with its relatively low maintenance costs, makes it a practical choice for nations that want cutting-edge capabilities without breaking the bank. In contrast, while the F-16 has served many countries well over the years, it is now showing its age. Even with modern upgrades, the platform struggles to keep pace with the demands of 21st century warfare. The Gripen, on the other hand, is designed with the future in mind, offering features that meet and exceed today's operational requirements. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.